What's happening people? Welcome to another video with All Souls and today we are doing another real versus fake between my Apple Watch Ultra and the updated version Vivo H11 Ultra Plus. Just before I get started make sure you follow me on one of the social medias above as I always put up sneak peeks on what to expect on All Souls and as always make sure you subscribe and also hit the bell notification so when I upload any video you'll actually be notified. So in this video today we'll take a look at the box, uh, take a look at what we get inside and I'll show you what the watches are like uh, to show you a comparison between them both and I'll switch them on just to show you what the operating system is like. If you want to see full unboxing and reviews of either of these items then make sure you check out my previous videos and hopefully uh, you will get to know what these watches are about. If you want to see any other videos let me know in the comments. So let's get started. First of all, we have my Apple Watch Ultra. Now, since this smartwatch has come out, there has been loads of Ultra smartwatches um, alternatives. Now, you can actually see my smartwatch playlist because I've got loads of smartwatches on there. But in this video today, we are going to do a comparison between this one and the Vivo H11 Ultra. This is the updated version. I have done a real versus fake between these two, well, the, my Apple Watch Ultra and the previous h11 ultra so if you haven't seen that make sure you check it out also but like i said this is the updated version now if you didn't see my previous real versus fakes you would know what's in the uh, apple watch ultra box you get three boxes well two, uh, two boxes the first one is the watch and the charger uh, you also get a booklet to show you how to actually use the smartwatch and also a leaflet, safety and hand handling leaflet at the back and also a watch band box as well but no idea I've misplaced that. So that's what you get inside of the Apple box. Coming to the H11 Ultra Plus, I'll just quickly show you what's inside. You can check out the unboxing review video to check it out properly. You get a little booklet uh, to show you how to use it. You also got the smartwatch which is just over there and also get a watch band, um, a screen protector, which is the first, and also a wireless charger. So let's take a look at the smartwatches. Can you tell which one is real and which one is fake? Well, to my left is the Apple Watch Ultra. Hold on a minute. I don't even know myself. Let me start that again. These are getting so much better. Anyways, let's start again. This one to my left is the Apple Watch Ultra and this one to my right is the H11 Ultra Plus. I had to check it just to sh make sure, but they do look identical. Now, the H11 Plus, uh, H11 Ultra Plus is an updated version with a full screen, one-to-one -one full screen, including a one-to-one -one body of the original, which I'll show you later in the video. It's had some updated features some updated animations and some updated uh, software on this smartwatch as well to mimic the original and also the looks of it is the same including the antenna line around it as well so let's take a look at the design as you can tell you can't tell any difference when you're looking at it just the color is slightly off on the h11 ultra plus i don't know if you can check it on camera it's much more like a goldish color on the h11 plus ultra than the apple watch ultra so as you can see the body frame is identical now pushing it to the side as you can see here pretty much identical the watch ring on the crown is much more bigger well it's a little more bigger than the h11 ultra plus the mics cutouts are in the same place and as you can see it does have the watch antenna lines it's a bit more thicker on the apple watch ultra but if you just had this h11 ultra plus you wouldn't even know the difference but yeah bringing the apple watch ultra back as you can see it's pretty much identical even the button is a little bit smaller but you wouldn't even know if you didn't actually have the apple watch ultra in your hand Taking a look at the back, now it's pretty much identical except for the sensors. Now the sensors are placed a little bit more different as you can see with the comparison. The only other thing which is different is the Apple logo. So you get the Apple logo on the Apple Watch but no Apple logo on the 
uh, H11 Ultra Plus. You get text around the sensors. They have real screws as well and also real watch band buttons to take the watch bands off. Coming to the sports, uh, the other side where the sport button is, pretty much identical. It's a much more chrome orange uh, button on the H11 Ultra Plus. Now, as you can see, the, uh, the speaker grill, the bottom three are fake. Well, of course, on the original, they all are real. You got the same uh, cutout, uh, cutouts of the mics on each side. But it's a bit, just more bigger circle on the Apple Watch Ultra compared to the H11 Ultra Plus. But other than that, it's actually identical. If I didn't actually tell you uh, what was what to look out for, you wouldn't even actually know. Now with these smartwatches, if anyone tried to sell them here, you make sure you have got the Apple Watch uh, logo here because I would say 99% or even 100% of the clones don't actually have that. And also with the sensors, it actually goes um, in a different it's not like a square it's a diagonal if you can check it's a square on the um h11 ultra plus but it's a diagonal on the apple watch ultra but other than that you wouldn't even know what to look for even the antenna line is actually on the h11 ultra plus now by far this is the best clone i've actually used so i'm going to switch it on and show you what they are like if you want to see a full specification on both of these make sure you check out the review this video is just to show you what both of these are like from the box to the smartwatch design and the operating system when we switch it on so let's switch these both on and see what they are like so straight off uh, the logo is hello on the h11 ultra plus and you've got apple logo on the apple watch so while the apple watch is booting up as you can see it has a full display you wouldn't even actually tell because i've actually switched both of these on earlier and i couldn't even tell with the screen to body ratio which one was which by putting the same watch face on so yeah let me just show you a little bit you can actually scroll through your watch band it also has a real compass as well on the watch face as you can see and they are dynamic as well so it actually changes if you want it to as well and scroll down yeah you know, this one also comes with two menu interfaces like the original one as well you got a split screen and loads of shortcuts and also your list view this one also has a game on as well now check this out for screen to body ratio on the left we have the apple watch ultra on the right we have the h11 ultra plus check that out look how identical that is you wouldn't even actually tell the body line of both of these smart watches is perfectly aligned in the middle so there's no big bezels around everything is exactly the same so let's swipe it down and as you can see with the apple watch ultra you get notifications but with the h11 ultra plus you get um, your shortcuts which you can actually choose so swiping it back up swiping it to the right will change your watch face on the apple watch ultra swiping it to the right will put up the split screen swiping it to the left will bring you shortcuts on the h11 ultra plus and the same again with the apple watch ultra it just changes the um uh, watch face as you can see so you've got to go back to it like that so swiping it up on the apple watch ultra brings your show course swiping it up brings your notifications on the h11 ultra plus and there we have it so you got your show course right there push them both in and you get animation on the apple watch ultra and straight well look how much sport mode you've got on both of these like i said over 170 on the h11 ultra plus but you can add more on the apple watch ultra it just depends what you use but you can keep going down with the app uh, h11 ultra plus there's loads on here so let's go into the menu like i said with the uh, both of these watches you get two menu interfaces smart view and the list view which we have right here so let me just kick get it so i can actually show you 
So of course you've got loads of apps on both of these. You've also got games on the H11 Ultra Plus, as you can see, a game right there. If you want to see more about that, check out the review video. But yeah, you can actually put loads of apps on the Apple Watch Ultra as well. And it just goes to show what they both are like. The crown does work and it's really nice and smooth on both of these as well. You also have your multitask, so whatever apps you've been using, actually you've got a notification on there as well. So whatever apps you've been using on both of the watches, if you push in the power button, it actually brings them a recent uh, apps what you've used, which is another good and um, mimic feature that they've done on the H11 Plus Ultra. But overall, I've got to say, this is the best and cheapest smartwatch that I've used uh, on my also San All Sorts channel as of yet. Uh, there are loads of other videos coming out soon, so make sure you do subscribe. If you want to see any other videos with both of these smartwatches, let me know in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Which video should I do next? Which real versus fake video should I do next? Do let me know in the comments. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video of the Apple Watch Ultra versus the H11 Ultra Plus. Let's put that there. If you want to see any other videos, let me know in the comments. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you again for another video.